Okay, so here's a person named Billy, right? Billy. And he likes to have a nice open white plane to run around in random directions. But he's been quite irritated recently because of this random floating cube that appeared out of nowhere that would obstruct him when he's running around in random directions. So we're going to help Billy by coding a gun for him. And right now the gun doesn't work at all because it's not really coded yet. It just has an empty mono behavior with a start function and an update function. And there's no real functionality that will let Billy be able to destroy this random floating cube. So we're going to work on this. And to start off, we're going to need a reference to our player's camera, or Billy's camera. So this will be Billy camera. And Billy's camera in our start function will simply be camera.main. You can make this a serialized field and manually assign it yourself. But since my game only, my game's uh, camera has the tag main camera, I can just use camera.main to get a reference to Billy's camera. Now, in our update method, we want to check if we press the left click. We don't want to be shooting a ray every single frame. <laughs> so if input uh, get mouse button down zero. So this means every time we left click, we're going to create a new ray and we're going to shoot the ray and check for any collisions we get based on a certain layer. And as I say based on a certain layer, we're going to create a serialized field of a layer mask so we can have the laser only be able to collide with these random floating cubes that appear out of nowhere on Billy's terrain. So private layer mask and we're going to call this random cubes layer. Okay, so now in our little if statement for whenever we press or mouse one or left click, we're going to create a new ray and it's going to be ray and it's going to be a gun ray is going to be a new ray. And in here, our ray, the ray constructor takes in an origin and a direction. So the origin is basically where the ray will originate. Yeah, like where the ray is positioned and the direction will be which way will the ray be shot towards? So in our new ray, we're going to do Billy camera dot transform dot position. That will be our origin and our direction will be Billy camera dot transform dot forward. So basically we're creating a new instance of array that contains the data for a laser that will shoot at Billy's position and at Billy's forward like where Billy's looking towards. So now that we have array, we're going to create another if statement and we will use the function physics.raycast. And this function will take an array and multiple other parameters to give us data on the object or objects that was hit by our gun ray here. So first, our first parameter is going to be the ray that we're using and we're just using the gun ray. And our next parameter will be out raycast hit our hit info. So what this out keyword means, this basically is a way for our function here to spit out data that uh, has been acquired while checking for our gun ray for any collisions or anything like that. So basically we are asking the physics engine, hey, is this we are going to shoot a ray out and give me data on what you have hit and after we create these two things in here we're going to create a max distance and i say a hundred f like a hundred would be a fair yeah that would be pretty good that would be a that would be a fair distance on a on a gun and for our layer we're going to put in a random cubes layer okay so now this is basically all we have to do in order to set up our guns functionality. So now whenever we hit a cube in a random cube layer, we can just simply debug.log. We hit a random floating cube just to debug what's going on. So now if we go back into the editor and we go back to our gun here and we need to set up our layers. So uh, for this random floating cube, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this cubes. And I'll set this layer to cubes. And 
Go back to our gun and set a random cubes layer to cubes. Now, whenever we shoot our ray here, whenever we do a physics our ray cast, the laser is only going to check for any objects within the cube layer. So now if we go into our game here and we hit play, and we're not looking at the cube, we click, and we get nothing. But if we go towards the cube and we click, boom, we hit a random floating cube. And that is every time we look at our cube and shoot at it or just left click. But whenever we look around it or anywhere else, we don't get anything. So now what we want to do is destroy this cube when we hit it. And we can easily do that by using our hit info here. So if we do destroy, so we want to destroy the object. And in our hit info, we're going to do hit info dot collider dot game object. So basically what we're doing here, we're just destroying our random floating cube. And if we go back and we hit play and we click on the cube, boom, the cube is now gone. Billy is now able to freely roam around his space with no sort of obstruction. Okay, so now that we have the main functionality of our gun working, uh, let's work on accessing components of our random floating cube whenever we hit it. So here I have a random cube script here, and inside we have a health parameter and we have a function to subtract health from our cube. All it does is subtracts it and checks if our health is lower than or equal to zero. If it is, we simply destroy it. So now in our gun script, whenever we hit a cube, we're going to do if hit info dot collider dot game object and we're gonna do try get component and inside of our function here we're gonna do out random cube and call this um cube hit so basically this function it's it's like get component but it just attempts at it it doesn't create any sort of we don't have to create an extra variable outside. You can just do out random cube cube hit. Like like in our physics our raycast function, we do out raycast hit info. We're just doing out random cube cube hit. And in here we can just do cube hit dot uh, subtract health. And we can create a, a little damage variable here. So damage subtract health with our damage. And we can even debug dot log our cube hit dot health. Now, if we play and we go into our console here and we click on the cube. And before we do that, we set up our damage. Let's just do one. And we just click on our cube. Notice the health is subtracting and it's gone. The cube is now perished. And Billy can once again freely roam in his open space. Alright, and that is all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to focus on making this gun automatic and burst. And switching between fire modes. And stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.